All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the extreme panelist at uh, Race Pitter Presents Turf Talks. I have Tegbir Brad, I have Tariq Vaidya, I have Gaurav Rampal. Like I promised, we all are in one frame and we'll be talking about the 19 probables wow. that will be lining up under the starter for the Indian Derby. Thank you so much for joining us, gentlemen. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you for having Thank us. You. All right, so I'll start with Tariq. Tariq, 19 horses in the Indian Derby. Uh, what do you think will be the pace of the race? Will the draws play an important role? And uh, what are your thoughts about these 19 runners? So it's an exciting derby. It's a big field. Uh, it's a little bit uh, complicated because there's no clear-cut winner. I feel so. Uh, uh, it seemed a bit more clear-cut a month ago, but I think they're now likely contenders and likely threats. And I think... Nobody can say for sure, hand on a heart, that they think they're going to win the race for sure. I think it's going to be competitive. Uh, in my opinion, I think there are four top contenders. You've got to uh, respect Pacey's two, Supernatural and King's Ransom. Uh, you've definitely got to respect Take B's horse once you go black. And you've got to respect this filly from Bangalore called Mira. I think the race would, I think these four would be in the forefront. I, th I think one of the, these four is going to win. All right. Uh, I'll move on to Mr. Tegbir. Tegbir, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, once you go black, finished in a thrilling way in the Mysore Derby. Won by the whisker, shortest margin of the nose. He needed that run in the Ruya. He was finishing well. Uh, how do you think he's come out of the Ruya? And how has, how has he prepared himself for the big one? So basically, he was supposed to be running the guineas. Uh, unfortunately, he had a little bit of a setback, a temperature and an infection. So, we had to back off on him. He recovered quite well from that to uh, warrant taking a chance in the Ruya. Uh, we were very happy with his uh, race in the Ruya. I'd, uh, I wouldn't say he's fully cranked because the other horses that ran in front of him were running the third races of the season. Correct. Uh, whereas, he was running his first race of the season. I think uh, Sandesh did quite well in the sense that he didn't bang him about too much because that wasn't the eventual aim. Um, he got interfered with as well in the last uh, furlong or so. And uh, beyond that, it's a matter of he's trained up to this. He's trained up to it well. He's maintained his weight. He's looking really well. He's feeling really well. Um, he's eating up really well. And uh, in a 19 horse field, it finally comes down to the luck of the race. Uh, I mean, uh, anyone else, anyone would be lying. The people who are drawn inside could get buried. Uh, the people who are drawn outside could end up uh, going wide. The guys in the middle, anything can happen in such a field. You've got 19 jockeys. I wouldn't say all 19 jockeys are very experienced. There's three or four of them who are having their first and second rides in Correct. the derby. Correct. So the occasion will also get to people like that. Uh, but all in all, that's the derby. These are the pitfalls and this is why it is such a difficult race to win. Uh, everyone deserves to be there. It's not a matter that uh, this one deserves it and that one uh, does, doesn't deserve it. All 19 horses deserve their place there and where do things have happened in racing? You've had like really, really uh, big upsets and things like that. Absolutely. So at the end of it, uh, it comes down to how, how well everything goes. Of course, uh, the ones that are based locally will always have a bit of an advantage. And anything can win it. I mean, the 19 horses, you call it racing for a reason. Correct. Yeah. With that, uh, you won uh, the Indian Derby in your colours on Hall of Famer. How was that feeling for you and how exciting was that? Because it's a dream for every owner and trainer and jockey to win the Indian Derby. Well, as far as me as an owner, it's my biggest day as an owner, no doubt about it. Uh, that day, the race just went like a dream. Uh, everything just worked out perfectly, even though David found him in front. We had a very, very good jockey up. We had a horse that was absolutely ready to win that day. And uh, that's one of those things. Luck worked out in our favour that day and everything went beautifully. We hope it happens again. My uh, partner, Mr. Shivin Sunandanath, also uh, is a derby winning uh, owner. So, and he's always been a very lucky owner. So, let's hope his luck uh, also carries on to us. Absolutely. Hope that all the lucks combine and uh, may you win. Wishing you all the best for the Indian derby. Let's move on to uh, Gaurav. Gaurav, your thoughts about the 19 runners? 
I quite agree with Tegbir. I think it's a deep field. Ten individual classic winners, three other classic place tosses. Um, we had a chat in the morning, and I said just that there might be a situation where, in the luck of the race, uh, because of uh, heavy traffic and slightly lesser experienced boys on top, might make a difference. But uh, I think it's going to be a very exciting race. Your picks. I'm going to be repetitive. I can't pick a winner to save my life. But yeah, there are five, seven serious horses in this. So I'll go with uh, two of Pacey's, Mojito, Once You Go Black, Mira. So I think the bunch, uh, the, these will be the ones at the finish. All right. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us and uh, sharing your views. I hope everybody, our uh, patrons, have made a note of this. And uh, please do not forget to subscribe and like to our channel. And uh, we'll be shortly putting up this content. And until then, we'll see you past the post. Thank you.